Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I wanted to show you some of the Boy Scout stuff I've collected. Um, I already have a video on an old um, World War II time Boy Scout mess kit. I got like three videos on that, but today I wanted to show you some of these things. I'm mostly focusing on these two canteens. This is a Boy Scouts of America 574 Yucca Pack, okay? Or Yucca Pack number 574. But uh, I mostly, I just got this, so I can't really do a really good review on it. This is my first outing with it. But what I really wanted to focus on was these two canteens. So uh, let me uh, reset the camera and we'll get to the review. Okay, so here they are sitting side by side. And of the two, this one is the older one. And there's different ways you can date these Boy Scout items. One way is by this symbol, the Boy Scout symbol itself. When Boy Scouts first came about, um, they used this symbol. It says National Council, New York City. And it always stays the same in your top, Boy Scouts of America. So the key is, is this bottom, okay? The national office was located uh, in New York City until the end of 1954. Okay, so both of these canteens, this one and this one, have that same symbol, National Council, New York City. Okay, so that puts them earlier than 1954 right there. Okay, and if they don't have that symbol, let me switch over here to my, my Yucca Pack. It's a newer piece of equipment compared to those. If you look at this symbol, it says Boy Scouts of America and it just has National Council at the bottom. No city there. So uh, in 1954, like I said, they moved to New Brunswick, New Jersey. That's where they moved the office. And that is when I found that this symbol changes. Uh, I saw the f this symbol first published in the January uh, 1955 uh, Boys Life magazine. Okay, and they showed this new symbol. So before that was this symbol that, you, that we see on these two canteens here. Okay, so the next thing that kind of makes this one older is the type of canteen it is. It is what I would call a top fill canteen. See, it's it's a round canteen, kind of skinny, but it's filled right in the very top at the 12 o'clock position. Okay, and um, those were the earliest ones. In 1952, they came out with this one, which is what I call an offset fill. See how it's, it's kind of skinnier here on the edges, but the fill is offset from the top. It's still at the top, but just more towards the front, okay? And I think what that was for is whenever the, the boy was carrying it, it was nicer to have this pointing out away from the body. See, it's got it's got a concave here to, so it fits on the hip better. And that was the design that they had. Um, they're both made of aluminum. This one has a canvas, a very light canvas cover. And the aluminum looks like this. I, I can't get the cover off of this old one anymore. Uh, but I have been able to tell there's no W stamped here, so it's not what they call a wherever. That was the manufacturer of some of these Boy Scout canteens and mess kits. There'd be a W stamp there for wherever, and this one does not have it. But uh, if I try to remove the cover, it will start to rip, like what I just what I did right there. So we're not going to try to remove this cover ever because we don't want to cause any more damage than what I already have. Okay. Um, the chain is missing off this. It would have a retention, like a retaining chain for the cap that would have went here. Okay, um, and I did have to put a new O-ring in here. The O-ring was missing on this one and I got it. The edge here where you grab it with your fingers is knurled to help you be able to get a grip better to grab it, okay? So this canteen is definitely pre-1952. I think it is from the 40s. 
because I found an advertisement in Boys Life magazine on this one. In July 1948 in Boys Life, they advertised a new official scout canteen. It was called the 1201. I'm reading off my paper here. It had two snaps on the front cover, and it said it had a cloth cover. And then later descriptions after that describe it as a felt cover. But there was this one's definitely cloth, okay? All right, so now on to this one, the offset one. Um, 1952 they came out with this offset fill like I said okay and it has two snaps and the cover does come off of this one pretty easily okay and it looks like this it has this symbol here it says uh, I have to kind of pull it down so I can see it Boy Scouts of America the official Boy Scout is what it says right there okay now I got it in there the official Boy Scout All right. and uh, on the back there is a W stamp there see it and I believe that's for wherever the manufacturer okay. and uh, this one came in a lot worse shape there was actually still water still in there so I'm in the process of getting it totally cleaned it's it's safe to drink out of now but I want to get it a little bit better before I actually use it okay so so that puts this because the national office moved in 1954 and they came out with this canteen in 1952 that dates this canteen sometime between 52 and 54. so that's pretty cool two really neat pieces of boy scout history i i know that the boy scouts right now are not so popular <laughs> As you've read in the news here lately, especially at the time of, of this filming, but it's neat to 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 collect these items, okay? And I'm going to uh, do a review on this pack too. Like I said, I just got it. Um, I added some leather strapping here on the sides, and we'll t I'll talk about that um, whenever I do the review on it. But it's a really neat pack. This stuff is really cool to collect and, and use. So, anyways, if you're looking for old scouting equipment pre-1954, if you have this symbol it on it, it is made sometime before then. Um, scouting started in the early 1910s, 1910, 1912, something like that. I can't remember the exact date. And they've had that symbol ever since then. So... Uh, I don't have any specs on how much these weigh. I didn't do that. Uh, or They both hold a quart of water. They do make one of these. Uh, let's see. Starting in 1956, they started making a two-quart one. It's kind of thicker on the side here. It's not, it, looks like a, it doesn't look like a flying saucer so much like this one. But it, had, it was like double-walled, so it could hold two quarts of, of water. So you may see some of those on the market that have, uh, they would definitely have this other symbol over here on them if they're a two quart. They'll have this symbol, the National Council. So uh, that's all for today on these two canteens. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I, my video helps you um, date your the equipment that you're looking at on eBay or, or equipment that you inherited from a family member or a friend. So, Thanks for watching. Today, if you like what you've seen, I ask that you click subscribe and follow me. I try to do all kinds of equipment reviews like this, especially military surplus and the occasional Boy Scout stuff. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and tell me you liked it. Uh, I would really would appreciate that. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I do try my very best to answer all questions and comments that come into my channel so um, thanks for watching today and I hope you have a good one